Hello, my name is Ashley Hensley, and this is my final project. This presentation is about 30 observations I did in the iNaturals app. Overall, I did 100, but chose 30 to display in this map. I took these observations in areas around Bowling Green, including WKU's campus, Shanty Hollow, and another local park. The observations are of different types of plants and animals. My first observation is a picture of yellow buttercups. And I'm going to save the hassle of saying the actual name of them because there's no way I can pronounce them. Second picture is a red maple. The This picture is just a part of where the tree is branching off and making another branch. The actual tree was actually a lot bigger. My third one is ivies and is growing along a uh, wood fence. Fourth one are clovers, like the ones that you see you get four leaf clovers. This is just in the grass. My fifth one is a tree in someone's yard. Um, it's a flamboyant tree, so yes, it was captivated. Sixth one is a pine cone from a pine tree. Seventh one is a bulrush, which when I first saw it, I thought it was onion grass, but it turns out it was just a different type. Eighth one is um, a sweet gum, which they are grown on a tree, but this is just the little seed from them. Ninth one is a mold called Dog Vomit Slime, which I think is a very weird name. Tenth one is an American Holly, and this one was captivated as well. Eleventh one, um, I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's a Horadia Lynchin. It was on a rock um, at Shanty Hollow. Twelfth one um, is a tapata, and it was growing out of a pipe that was in someone's coming off someone's house. Thirteenth one is a redwood um, tree, and I see it was growing out of this log that was like in someone's driveway. Um, I guess the tree seeded in it and started growing. Fourteenth one is a common ladybug or a lady beetle. Um, this one was orange though. Fifteenth one is from a dogwood tree. Um, this one was captivated too. It was in someone's front yard. Sixteenth one is a fall field cricket that is dead. Seventeenth. <laughs> is a walnut and these grow on trees too so this um, I found it on the ground uh, next to a walnut tree but this is the seed from it. 18th one is a narrow leaf bittercress. Um, at first I thought it was a fern but I guess it's just bittercress. 19th one is a boulder broom moss and like the one of the previous ones this was um, growing on a rock at Shanty Hollow as well. 20th one is a fire pink, um, just some type of either a weed or um, flower. 21st one, I thought it was poison ivy, um, but I thought, saw this one at Shanty Hollow. 22nd one is a Christmas fern, um, this one was at Shanty Hollow as well. 23rd is a dandelion, which is um, a weed, and I just saw this on when I was walking on the sidewalk. It was just growing up next to the sidewalk. 24th is another type of weed, which is the white clover. And you can see there's clovers around them, but these are like the little flowers that come off them too. 26th one 
was um, Common Ivy, and this was, like, these rocks right here um, was in someone's front yard, kind of like a fence or gate around their yard, and this ivy was just growing off of it. 26 one, um, it's called a flea bands. This one uh, is growing off, it was not a tree, it's kind of a bush, but it was probably like 10 feet tall, so it was kind of big. Um, and these are little flowers growing off of them, thought they were pretty. 27th one is honeysuckles. Um, and again, this is like a bigger bush. And then I have my 28, 29, and 30 all together. So this picture um, is a Morantine Sunburst Lynchon, and it's a type of tree. Um, it looks like it has like some moss growing off of it, so I thought that was pretty cool. This one is a leaf from a black tulipo. I thought this leaf was pretty. I like the yellow color. But if you flip to the back, it was like completely brown. And then the actual big picture um, on the screen is an eastern speckled shield lynchon, so another part of a tree. Um, and I thought this was like mold or moss or something, but it's actually wood, so these little circles are part of the actual bark. Alright, and that's the end of my project. Um, for my citations, the only thing I needed to cite was the iNaturals pictures I used in the end and in the beginning. Alright, thank you.